You're on to the second now. Pretty much everything you say is live. Hi, everyone! Whoa, pan left, camera one. <laughs> oh, pan left. Oh, yeah, I really need pan left. How are you today? Happy Monday. Yeah, well, what's so happy about it? I'm sitting next to you. Oh. <gasps> insulting my attire. I wasn't insulting your attire. He said, it looks like you're getting ready to go to church to light candles. <laughs> I... That is exactly what came out of the mouth. But I didn't say it like that. I said it in a nice way. I was joking, and you know it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I was going to try my new invention, and all I get was an insult. <laughs> I wasn't insulting you. Yes, that was very much an insult, Dad. That was like an all insult. All right. Then it was. See? I, Even I'm Dave just knows. a very insulting person. I'm a troublemaker. Still says offline for me, but we're getting lots Okay, of today we are making cheddar muffins, page oh. 93 in Dining on a Dime cookbook. This is my super duper worn out, had it since, let's see, what edition was this one? Had it since, where'd the page go? Oh, no, was this, it? oh, here. Wow, I've had this one since 2011. I think it's seen its wear. Do you, do you know where I could get a new copy? In the garage. Well, I might sell you one first. <laughs> I won't raise the shipping yet since I just can hand it to you. You two are in so, fine form, says Ellen. It's yeah, mostly well, her. Michael's pushing it, let me tell you. Hey, BB says, got your book for Mother's Day. Yay! Oh. Julie from Georgia says, I'm vertical, that's why I'm happy. <laughs> There you go, Julie. I hope Julie. you're feeling better. I still feel bad we missed meeting her. Man, I'm sorry, Julie. I feel terrible about that. Life goes on. Melda says, I hate Mondays, but love y'all's videos. I've learned a lot from you. Thank you. Okay, so if you're watching this later, um, we have a really big announcement about the show that we are going to do a video after today's show and put it on our YouTube channel tomorrow. So if you guys enjoy watching our show on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, you guys might want to watch that. So, I'm making two things. I'm making cheddar muffins. And I am making... I am making... Stew. Mom's stew. Where is it in so the while index? You're... While we're waiting to make sure everyone's on. page on. 110 is Mom's Stew, and page 93 is the Cheddar Muffins, okay? What? While, we're, while you're waiting for everyone else to get on, uh, a number of people are asking everyone to pray for Daryl from Two Family Homestead because yes. he's in the hospital. And Please do. He is our bud. We love him. He made our awesome signs. Yes. And Tara's soap uh, mold. New, really cool soap mold. Daryl made my wonderful sign there. And love you, Daryl. Love you. You said about your invention, so Galena wants to know what that is. Okay, so I found this at a kitchen store the other day, and I got this one off Amazon. Michael put the link in there. But it's called a kitchen boa. And it has a towel on the bottom. So your towel's right there, and you can just wipe your hands on it. So we'll see. Now, Mike said with my luck, I would end up getting it caught on the stove, and it would go up in flames. No, and he's no, probably no. right. I no, said you would lean. But, I said you would lean over the sofa while you're doing the blender, and it would no. suck it in. And oh, no, you choke said, me! You said you mom would be using the food processor. Or the food processor. And, I did say the food processor. Yeah, I did say that actually. And suck me in, huh? <laughs> well, either way, Michael sees it as a disaster waiting How to happen. How was your Mother's Day, Tara? So Sharon says, kitchen towels on your scarf. What is it really? That's, that's, that's what it really is, That's really what right? it is. It's, uh, apparently, it's supposed to be a, a kitchen assistant or an aide of some sort, right? Well, so I was just thinking it might be helpful because I'm always having sloppy hands all over the place. So maybe if my towel was just right here... Then it would help. Now, I am realizing one problem as I'm wearing it. A slight problem that I had forgotten about. I absolutely hate anything touching my neck. I can't imagine why I didn't know that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Dad, did you try so, to So, <laughs> as I'm sitting here with it around my neck, my phobia of having my neck touched is kind of Finally. getting on my nerves. <laughs> 
So we'll see. Maybe this will help me get over my neck phobia. What do you think? I hope so. All right, so I am making stew on page 110 and cheddar muffins. While everybody's getting on here, I'm starting to cut up my um, uh, potatoes and stuff. Now, I'm going to share that link right here. Now, uh, our Living on a Dime Extravaganza, which is a ton of ebooks, what is it, 20 ebooks or something 12. like that? 12 ebooks, is on sale. It's less than half price, less than a dollar an ebook. Go yeah. check it out. Less than half price. Or, I mean, it's half price, less than a dollar for each ebook. So, <laughs> if you want a stinking good deal, whoa, when the, go, when the deals are stinking, you know they're good. <laughs> go, they're not stinky cheese. Is the best. <laughs> You're pushing it today. I know, when just because I love you. Pushing it. Um. I actually had a very good Mother's Day until today. Oh, sorry guys. Some people were saying that they didn't get the email saying the show was on in an hour till 30 minutes ahead. So our newsletter place must have sent it late. Lovely. Hmm. A lot of good that does us, huh? Well, yeah. So okay. So I have my hamburger here and I have no idea why I just stabbed the whole thing open. I do know why because I spent three hours... Clean in the basement tonight, and you should see, or today. Street pictures. I did not. I was too embarrassed. It was horrible. It was really horrible. Okay, so here we go. We're going to test the kitchen bow and see what it does. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I feel like oh, that works pretty well, doesn't it? Where do you All get right. that from? I got mine on Amazon. Oh. But you can get it wherever well, you want. Well, that looks like some kind of thing that they have in, like, no offense to Israelis, but, like... Like a Jewish thing would Yeah, wear. it looks yes. like some kind of Jewish <laughs> thing. Okay, so while I'm getting my hamburger cooking... So basically, I'm just cooking my whole dinner. Okay, let's try this. Watch. I'm going to wipe now, off see, the counter. See, look. Mean. Ooh! Except they can't see. Can you see away from the shower? Ooh! Oh, no. Darlene said, I think it's very pretty. It would be something good to use. Thank you. Could you tell Mike that, please? What? I didn't. I wasn't telling you it wasn't pretty. You were insulting it. No, I wasn't. I said yeah. it, it matches nicely, and it just kind of reminds me of those things that priests wear. Or whatever. Um, All right, page ninety-three, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, right here, my very well-worn edition since two thousand eleven that I've had. Did someone give that to you, or did you buy it? This I bought it. Oh. Because somebody said glad you got it and liked it. I'm not sure if that was... Yeah, I just wanted to try it. Okay, so for the cheddar muffins, it used mashed potato flakes or mashed potatoes. I didn't have any potato flakes, and I had potatoes that I wanted to use up. So I just boiled some potatoes here, and I'm using some buttermilk that I also wanted to use up. And I'm just going to mash the potatoes with the buttermilk right here. <laughs> yeah, Sherry says, looks like you have a, I don't know how you say it, a talent around your neck, a.k.a. your prayer shawl. Sherry, aren't you supposed to be at the hospital? I think she is at the hospital. Oh, they're watching us at the hospital. That is faithfulness. Man. Yeah, Mandy says I'm Jewish. Looks like that. She says, is it tatless? I hope I said that right. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, I was not wrong to think it looks like a... <laughs> So Sherry, how's, how's Daryl doing? Okay, I don't think I got my potatoes cooked enough. Leave it to Tara. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I did it. Okay, so I got a few little potato chunks here because I didn't get them cooked enough. I thought they were cooked. <laughs> Out of Goshen is on. Hello. Did you guys survive today? You should have seen the list of stuff they had to do today. It was insane. Okay. Buttermilk. 
milk all over the place, but no. hey. We can live with it. Alright, now. Oh, she's moving over to cook the stone soup stuff. You went there. Okay, so now I'm just frying up some hamburger for my stone. I'm just frying up some hamburger for my stone soup. All right, now let's see. What do we got now? Okay, then my egg. And. Man, that smells good. Hey, this works pretty good, actually. My cheddar cheese. Nancy says I'm in fine form today. <laughs> Me? You? Insulting your wife. Being a little feisty, I guess. Okay. You did. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, and we're going to make cheddar muffins too. Okay, so I got my cheese, and then my flour, and then my salt. And my sugar. A lot of people say you should put it, uh, you should put it on around your waist, so it's not in your way. <laughs> Marjorie says you look like an Episcopal minister. <laughs> okay, Sorry. yes, the kitchen bowl was a bomb. It's cute. No, it is cute. It's fine. I guess I, I should have kept my. I shouldn't have relayed that coming, huh? Hi, Huda in Qatar. Can you guess? Okay, so if you're just joining us, we have a big announcement on the show coming tomorrow on our YouTube channel. <gasps> Might make it even bigger after today. Mm hmm. Mom's gonna get the toys. <laughs> <laughs> sure, so, so I already guess I read that one already. Oh, Jessica! Super chatted for $4.99. Oh, thank, thank you, Jessica. You, Jessica. She oh, says, nice. hit that like button, y'all. I think I will. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now this calls for chives, but of course, um, after Michael had already been to the store, I forgot I didn't have chives, and I don't have any in my garden. So I'm just going to add some garlic to this. So you can't use the green onions? I got them. because I thought. Maybe oh, you, you did could. get green onions? I thought maybe you could use them. They're in the, the oh, celery. Oh, well, never mind. Mike got green onions. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so Mike got green onions. So, Dad, I spent three hours cleaning Jack's room today, and guess where I found all the scissors that have been missing? Where? Jack's room. What? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cut up my onions, because I don't have any chives. <gasps> Out of Goshen says we have video and chat only tonight. No audio. We're in the public library. <gasps> what? <laughs> Do you see Jessica Edwards' super chat? Yeah. Where is the like button? Somebody's asking. I don't see it on YouTube. On YouTube oh, okay. The there bottom. we go. It's at the very Got bottom. the it's chives the cut in there. And now I melted some margarine right here that I'm going to use for my oil because I don't have any vegetable oil. That smells delicious. Oh, Talit. Thank okay. you, Sharon. Okay. So getting these all stirred up, let me... Sherry says they fed him, but no news if he needs a pacemaker or not. Hopefully it'll be good news when it comes back. Yes, I hope so. Uh -oh. Okay, so I'm pouring in my margarine. Stirring that in. Sorry about the blur, guys. I fixed it. Oh, I will. I will, Sherry. Well, tell them we're thinking about them, Sherry. Okay, there's the muffin mix. Now. Man. That you smells delicious. You can smell all you want because you ain't getting none. Ooh. I'm just well, going to be a monster woman. <laughs> just because I'm. <laughs> insulting my decorations. Mm -hmm. You were laughing earlier. <laughs> 
Okay, um, so now I've got my little muffin thingy of boppers here. So Rebecca's asking, just joining, are these are these the muffins that can be used as leftover mashed potatoes? If so, they're yes. so good and a great way to use leftover potatoes. Yes, it is. Oh, and I'm going to reshare the recipe in the comments. And as usual, if you can't find the recipe here in the comments, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. And they are there. Because Mike has been And don't forget, our, li our, our um, extravaganza ebook set is on sale for half price. It's less than a dollar per book. Woohoo! It's just $10 for 12 books. <laughs> if you want all of our glorious wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that I'm sure okay now here we go okay so now I use buttermilk in these so these are gonna be extra poofy because buttermilk helps stuff rise but I needed to use up the buttermilk so woo those are gonna be extra big okay Turid says this looks good it smells really good actually oh. you can add garlic and onion powder if you want Cherry's asking, is it okay to freeze cheddar cheese shredded, and what's the best way? Yes, just throw it in the freezer in the package. We That's actually, what I do. We've been buying it in the shredded packs just because where we get it, it's pretty much the same price, right? Yeah, for us to get it at our store, it's the same price to buy it either in the chunks or in the... Um, or in the, uh, what do you call it? Pre-shredded versus the, well, I don't know, what do you call that? Block. I guess a block of cheese? Is that what you call it? Maybe? Uh, yeah. Okay, now this is supposed to make a dozen, but I think this muffin tin is slightly small. <laughs> Jackie says, just got your cheddar muffins. Yum. Man, they smell so amazingly delicious. Keep so, going. Keep going. They smell wonderful. Keep going. Although it's, I'm having a hard time because you smell good too. <laughs> yeah, there you wonderful, go. Keep awesome, going. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, uh -huh. now. Now. <clears throat> Let's get these in the oven. Okay, here we go. We're going to wipe with our towel. You didn't like Overemphasizing the fact that you're using the towel. Oh no, now I got something all over the bottom. So now oh, I'll wipe it on the bottom. Um, if you're wondering where Tara got that kitchen boa towel thing, I am going to share the link because a couple people are asking. And they want to look like priests. Oh my life. No, David, Joshua. <laughs> Dear, honestly, the people that are that have commented on it, they're they're saying that they like it. Thank you guys. See, they oh. have taste. Denise says, funny how you're making cheddar muffins today when it's butter, National Buttermilk Biscuit Day. Is it really? Oh, wow. You know, we need to just see what national day it is and just make that on every show. Okay, so I have my hamburger brown. That's a half a pound of hamburger. And... Sherry, I'm, sh I'm sh uh, sharing the recipe again here. But if you don't find it here, it's also in our uh, show notes, livingonadime.com and then show notes. Okay, so I added some water. Um, now I'm making mom's stew on page 110. So let me get my potatoes cut up. Okay, well I was sharing it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm having trouble with the computer. Okay, here it is. Sorry, slightly delayed. And it is still in the show notes, too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stone soup. Mmm. Jack's favorite. Okay. Now, getting my potatoes. I don't know. What do you call this? Cubed, I guess. Getting these all done. Okay. Any questions while I'm cubing my potatoes? Ooh, let me look real quick. Um... Do, do, do. Kim, my cookbook came on Saturday. So excited. Yay. Thank you for ordering. Kay said, hello, visiting my mom in Florida. I met the, made the sweet muffins for her, and I used bananas, and then we did peaches and strawberry muffins, and they loved them. Yum. Uh, a lot of people asking about how was your Mother's Day. My Mother's Day was great, actually. Woohoo. 
I wanted to go to the mountains, but Mike had to sing in the choir, and it actually ended up working out great because we had horrible rain and hail here yesterday. So I'm really glad we ended up not going to the mountains after all. So... But sadly... I got some also, beautiful flowers to put in my garden. I got some cute gnomes, which I'll have to show you in just a minute from Dave and Jack. And beautiful candles from them also. Oh yes, they were nice. Okay, so there's the potatoes. Oh, I didn't share this. And now for the onion. Now normally my onion is in the refrigerator so that it doesn't cause me to cry. If I didn't share this earlier, should I share it now or no? Yeah, go ahead. Um, but I ran out of onions, so Mike so graciously ran to the store for me, like he does every show. Because ah! uh, I never know from one day to the next what I'm making. But I think that National Whatever Day, how do we find a list of this National Whatever Day? Well, since how Denise is the one that's always reporting it to us, we is should it ask. Denise? Yeah. Well, Denise, send me your source, please. Gwen says, watch out, shredded is not gluten free on the shredded cheese. Yeah, it is. A lot of it is. Depends not on what they it. it depends but on what they use for the doesn't matter anyway, because I can't eat cheese anymore anyway. So I'm off all dairy. <gasps> Been off dairy for a week. No dairy, no gluten. I'm starting sugar this week. And I am feeling significantly better. Mandy says mother in law made a potload of mashed potatoes for my son before he leaves for his duty station in Korea. Oh wow. Wow. Um Let's see, I'm looking to see what comments we didn't yet reach, and then I'm going to look for the newer ones. Okay, so then I'm getting my celery. Rosemary said I want to try patty sourdough bread, but I don't want to use my oven in the hot summer in Mississippi. Well, it's yeah. It's they're in Mississippi, too. Yeah, and she bakes it all summer because she does the farmer's market. I didn't think about that. Okay, now I got my celery. All right, and let me grab my bay leaf. Where's my bait? Oh dear, yeah, we, I redid my spices and now I don't know where my bait leaves I'm are. I'm going to share a link to that Alderman Farms sourdough ebook. We love their sourdough. That's, yeah. that's Patty's ebook that she's talking about. Ugh. There's some friends of ours that live in Mississippi and they're from Alderman Farms on YouTube. Yeah, go check out Alderman Farms on YouTube. She has a great, great, great sourdough, how to bake with sourdough ebook and sourdough starter. So go check that out. Ugh. Oh, La Diana was saying, um, ice, small ice or ice cream scoops work great for scoop dough, scooping dough and dropping it into muffins or cookies. Man, Mike is yes. having a hard time reading. Today. They work really well. <gasps> okay, now for my carrots. Sammy says my door is open anytime you want to come to Canada and bake. Ooh, <laughs> I'll be there next week. Oh no, I can't be there next week. We're going to move my brother next week. <gasps> That's next week. Next week. Ugh. It is? Yes. What's next week? What's next week? I'll tell you what's next week. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. <laughs> Tasha says, watching storms closely, never comforting when storm chasers are parked just up from your house. I know. We used to have that in Kansas. Where's she at? Oklahoma? I don't remember where she's from. I don't remember either. Let me look real quick. Okay, yes. Why did you put celery? Because I love celery. But you can make it out. Oklahoma. Oh, I, Oklahoma. You can just pick out the celery. It'll make the broth taste bad. No, it doesn't. You want to go get them, your present Dave, you got me for Mother's Day? You're keeping an eye on, on the porch. On okay. The YouTube side, right? mm -hmm. So now I'm going to let that simmer. So Madeline and Lori both want to know what kind of stew are you making? Page 110, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Mom Stoop. Mom oh, Stoop. Thank you, Denise. I will make a note of that. She told me how to find the, which day it is. Um, oh, okay. Pamela Jack. says we need smell of vision It right is here. awesome. It smells good. On my soap drying table. <gasps> Victoria says, oops, I almost missed you guys. I was busy watching the coffee video. <laughs> LOL. Wow, Tara, you were spot on. <laughs> is anybody speaking to me after the coffee video? Okay, show them what you got me. Hold it up. Hold it up so they Hold can it see up. it. Oh, oh yeah, a Mother's Day thing. Hold it kind of closer to the camera. Ooh, Madeline says waiting for mine to get here. Isn't that cute? Jack picked 
that out just for me. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Can you go get Dave's over there and show him the one Dave got me? <laughs> and then Mike got me a steak and cooked me a steak, which is what I asked for. I've been craving steak lately. Did I do an okay job? Yes, you did a really good job. It's only the first steak I've cooked in 20 plus years. This is the one Dave got me. It's a little solar light. Ooh, nice. Thank you. It's a gnome on a hammock. It's a gnome on a hammock. It is. Oh, is the soup recipe on our website? It's not. Yes, is it? it is. Is it, yeah. is it called stone it. soup? No, or? stew. Um... All right, so we're going to let our soup boil for just a little bit. So is this it right here? Yes. Lots and lots of yummy goodness in there. Is it this um, soup? Yeah. Okay. Except for the celery. He doesn't like the celery, Dad. Uh, let's see. Would it be better to call it Mom's or Quick and Easy? Because the title's too long to paste in there. Quick and Easy? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share the stew recipe, guys. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out. Okay, uh, what? Tammy is wondering, can I ask why you don't can? Um, because it's too much work and it doesn't actually save you money. I know, I have all my canning friends. Don't throw tomatoes at me, but it really doesn't. By the time you count your time and energy and all your sugar and pectins and stuff like that, it really doesn't save time. Now, it's like with anything else, I always say, if you just enjoy doing it because you have a big garden and you like to can your produce or like Bandana Grandma, she loves it because she knows what's in her canned foods, that's totally fine. I have no problem with it. But for me, I don't have the time or the energy to do it, so that's why I don't. And it doesn't actually save any money really by the time you count all your time and everything if you have the time go for it but i don't so i don't know if rosemary rosemary has a tip she says onion fumes go towards water on your faucet and you shouldn't tear up i did That's not know one. that we, we were doing it mm. refrigerated right lynn says blue looks good on you and it does of course what they can't see on there probably is how it makes your eyes come out more <sighs> But Kimberly's asking if you got Thank your you. apron from out of Goshen. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. So today, I spent three, no, four, let's see. Well, what, let's see. Nine o'clock to 12.30. Shoveling Jack's room and cleaning our storage closet. So I can make more room for my soap stuff. Jolene wants to know what is the best type of roast beef to make. Should I go get the roast article? Yeah. Uh, any, the cheapest one there is. I just get the cheapest roast there is. Usually I pay two dollars to two seventy nine a pound. I never pay more than two fifty a pound, really. I think I maybe paid two seventy nine once. But if it's over two forty nine, we just don't eat it. But I am. Um, just throw it in the oven or throw it in the crock pot and let it s simmer all day. I'm sharing a recipe for it right now. And it takes like three minutes to make and it's super easy and super yummy. All right. So. Cool. Oh, more question. Let me see if I can, what I can find here. Um, <coughs> where were we on this? Um, you already answered that one, answered that one. Oh, Lynn says, hey, it's been a while for me. Happy Mother's Day. Glad to catch you live. Thank you. We're... Happy Mother's Day to you, too. So I totally spaced Mother's Day for my mom. Am I a schmuck or what? <laughs> you can say it. Go ahead. I didn't say you were a schmuck. So when we go in nine days to her house, I'm going to have to suck up big time. <laughs> Wait, to mm whose -hmm. house? What? I'm confused. Sorry. I did call and tell her. I just forgot to send her a present or anything. Whose house? We'll have Nan. to bring her something oh. extra nice. Oh, By wait. the way, we're going to Wichita in nine days, but we are not going to be doing a meetup. Sorry, but... If you help with the yeah. moving... No, no. <laughs> yeah, unless you want to come help my brother move. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't say that. We'll probably have 20 people show up. Maybe I should say that, and then we'd have 20 people show up. <laughs> <laughs> um... 
Oh, that's so cute. Adorable gnome. That's awesome, Jack. Oh, everybody's loving that. Isn't it cute? They got me some cute gnomes this time. You had a blessed mommy's day, says Cherry. And I even got a hug from Dave. And, uh, <laughs> and BJ took me out for dinner last night. I, and he even paid for it. I know. Him and Ellie both did. Can you believe it? Man, I'm having a nose itching problem. I couldn't believe it. So I forgot to set my timer on my muffins. So I'll have to keep watching, watching them. Um, so <laughs> y'all are awesome kids, Jack and Dave. And Jack's not even here for me to tell him that. Oh, but no, I tell him that every awesome. day, pretty much. <laughs> Tara, my dad collects gnomes also. He has them all over their backyard. He has one dive on the diving board of the pool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, I used to have them all over the backyard, and then we thought we were going to move, and I packed them all up. So I only have about a quarter of them out right now, but that's... I'm kind of missing my little friends. Well, you're getting some new ones. Mm-hmm. Darlene says, but canning is fun to do and give us gifts and sell like I do at bazaars. That's pretty much what you were saying. Not right? in August when it's 110 degrees. But, I'm sorry. But you were saying if people like it. If you enjoy it, go for it. For me, it's a pain in the rear. And I don't even blanch my fruits and vegetables when I freeze them. What? I know. I just wash them off and throw them in a freezer bag. Or put them on a cookie sheet if, if it's like strawberries or blueberries or something. I'll freeze them on it. Well, not even blueberries. But I'll just throw, wash them, throw them on a cookie sheet, freeze them on a cookie sheet, and then put them in a bag. But Stephanie says, hi there. Navy blue is your color, Tara. It is. Thank you. really you. do look good in the blue. You just better keep going. You got a long way to go. Hey. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. So Gwen says, typical teen's room. I remember doing that with my sons. And Kimberly said, shoveling Jack's room. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you guys could have seen it, it would have been a great video. But... Uh, he had it to where you couldn't get to bed without... Killing stumbling yourself. Over stuff. And, and it's always the... It's always that one stray Lego that's like the Achilles heel for Dad. So it is all... And to my defense... About twice a year, I have to go in and shovel, but we do try to keep them picking up their rooms. But when I'm tired and it's <gasps> downstairs, Mike's the one who who reads stories with him. And so I don't go down there before bed to make him get it cleaned up before. And Mike, of course, doesn't remember because guys don't see those things, you know. Oh, I see it. I just say, you got to shove this aside. If there's a fire in the house, you're never going to get out. Because <laughs> that's what dads do. How about, how about we pick this up before we read a story? Oh, I have skills, but that's not one of them. Well, picking up is one of them, just not picking up in his room. So everything's back in order. He's going to go through his toys. His birthday, him and Dave's birthday is in just a little over three weeks. Him and Dave's, Dave and Jack's birthday is two days apart in three weeks. Dave's not requesting anything specifically, just money. So if you guys want to get super chats for Dave's birthday fun, I would be good. <laughs> <Dave. laughs> <laughs> well, at least my kids know what to ask for, huh? Yes. They're not afraid to ask for what they want. Uh, so we have... Uh, Denise says, uh-oh, Tara's in trouble. And Joanne says, you can make it up to her next week, Tara, and bring lots of chocolate. Yeah, no kidding. And then Denise is saying, milk it, Jill. Just remind her that you gave her life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> and Roberta uh, says, you're a sweet mother, Tara. And you are. Well, what happens is, like, like I'm paranoid I'm going to forget the boys' birthdays. Because I talk about these things, and I know that they're coming up. But I have no way to remember that these things are actually happening. I can write it on the calendar, but if I don't know what day it is... It doesn't do me any good. And so we've tried marking off the days on the calendar. Well, Wait a minute we forget now. to mark off the days on the calendar. So Whoa, whoa. I have to call you out on that one. You say what? you forget which day it is, but you're telling the kids for two weeks. Guess what day it is? I know, but it's it doesn't register. So what I'm saying it. is it doesn't register that I have a mother I'm supposed to do something for. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I... I have no response to that. <laughs> I have no It's like I was telling mom, I would get organized, but I have absolutely no way to get organized. So, I don't know. <gasps> anyway. And he says, finally, I see you live. Wee! So glad you're here. Yay! Okay, and so I will say again, three announcements. 
We have a major announcement happening tomorrow. Go check our YouTube channel about our live shows. We have our Living on a Dime extravaganza on sale right now for half price, only $10 for 12 eBooks. It's a good deal, grab it. We only put that one on sale a few times, a couple times a year. And then, third, see, I can't even remember what my third thing was. I know I had a third thing. <laughs> like oh, a... yeah. If you want Dining on a Dime, on June 1st, we're having to switch the way we ship the books, and our shipping is going up, so it's going to be $1.50 more per book. So if you want to save money on shipping right now, grab it before June 1st or before we run out of envelopes. If we run out of envelopes before June 1st, we're just going to up the price then. So we've got like 100. Do you, How many envelopes do we have left, Dave? Do you know? No. How many boxes? Boxes? Two? We have a lot of, we have two pallets of boxes, but. No, I mean of the shipping envelopes. Oh, yeah, two boxes of those yellow Okay, ones. so I've got like 150 envelopes left. I thought you said to stop using those. Well, I know, but after you're done. So, Pamela has asked, have you ever frozen corn in the husks? And Linda said, I put corn on the cob in the freezer, husks and all. I have never done that. I always husk it and then put it in. And Lynn says the flowers on the windowsill are pretty. Are they Mother's Day gifts? Yes. Mike always gets them for me before Mother's Day so he doesn't have to pay the Mother's Day prices, which is very smart. Although they're expanding the Mother's Day price range, oh, so great. I didn't quite escape me this time. Oh, but they're still amazingly beautiful and I couldn't possibly resist. <laughs> yes, they were very, very pretty. Oh, Madeline says we'll be ordering a third copy of Dining Soon. She's already ordered the second one. Wow. And waiting on it. Okay, let me see uh, if these are done. So here's what they look like. Dave, can you show in here? Jolene, I do have the chocolate cake recipe, pasting it into the comments now. And it's also on the Okay, so here's probably notes. the poofiest one. Let yes. me see. Not quite done yet. They've got just a minute more to go. Oh, it's not on the show notes yet. Let me throw it on. Okay. There. Let me turn down my soup. All right. I'm adding the recipes that I didn't yet add to the show notes. To the show notes. Ooh. Yeah, so you should have seen what I shoveled out of Jack's room. Oh, my word. It was crazy. I thought I was... Dave, you can lift the, lift the camera back up oh, again. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Oh, you should mind. see our house. Everything that was downstairs is now upstairs, and it's a mess. So has anyone been gardening? I haven't, although I got some, Mike got me some tomato plants for Mother's Day because I'm not having a big garden this year. But confess, you're missing it. I am missing gardening, but I just don't have the, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, okay, so I, whoops, you sound like you're waiting for another thing, so let me stop typing and... Jilly, hi all, managed to catch you live. Hope everyone is well. Thank you, Jill. Cat lover says she, chiropractor appointment had me home. Get to watch my favorite family. Thank Yay! you. <laughs> um, all right, so mm -hmm. let's see. We had some other questions over here. Uh, Diana said, my soap came today. Smelled better than I imagined. It really does Thank smell good. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow I have my neighbor coming over and she's going to help me rearrange and organize my soap room and the family room to make it into a soap room now hmm. i'm taking over the house <laughs> little by little arlene yeah. says i was taught in culinary school breathe with your mouth open and you will not cry when you're cutting onions. yeah that would make sense i didn't realize that but it does make sense yeah, yeah the... i just put mine in the fridge and then i don't worry about it yeah the soap took over what was originally a storage closet that we've kind of retrofitted into a soap workroom but it still got storage stuff and then it kind of moved its way into the basement family room and now uh we're... now it's... emily moved some of her stuff out so now tara's rearranging things into other storage so that she can completely take over the one that's the little soap room. so i have soap in my soap closet that was supposed to be a craft room i have soap all over the family room i have soap all in the bar the bar is nothing but soap stuff and then i have a whole shelf of soap stuff out in the garage yeah we have a problem but until we we thought we were gonna move um but 
that isn't happening at the moment, so we're trying to be one with what we have. What we have. The white picket fence is asking, did you do the closed captioning or is it my computer? You know what? We were looking at how to do it and trying to figure out, and I just saw a thing that said it was going to be a dollar a minute. And then the next show, it just miraculously started working on its own. I so no I'm idea. glad it's there. And maybe it might be possible I might have clicked something, but I don't think so. Ooh, cat lover. When you get that video done, send to me. I'm, I haven't got it done yet, but I'm going to put a playlist together of everybody's videos who have featured Dining on a Dime cookbook. So let me know and I'll add that to it. It looks like it's snowing outside with all the cotton from the cottonwood trees flying all over. Look it. Look it, Dave. Oh, I must be a little yeah. behind. I'm sorry, I'm a little crazy. behind. Are you, you're watching the comments on YouTube too, right, Dave? Yeah. Um, so. So someone's asking what. Hey, Jasmine. What soup are you making? I'm going to share this. You are making this one? Yeah. Yes, I'm making that one. Yes. I'm sharing the quick and easy stew recipe. Jack likes to call it stone soup. Is that? Yes. It's the same recipe for both of them. Oh, she's an old fashioned girl. So her mom said that she didn't need a gift. She's. She said just me, it's just her being there was the best gift. Uh, oh, Aww. so when I come, is that what my mom's going to, my mom's not going to say that. She's going to say, show me my gift. Show, show me the money. The it looks like it's snowing out. <laughs> look at that. I noticed that when we came home, Jack was asking, what but is look. all that? Wow. It's even worse. I wish we could go outside and show it to him. Oh, man. May is gluten-free month. Did not know that. <gasps> um, Amy T, Daryl is having some heart problems, so if you guys could pray for Daryl, we would really appreciate it. His heart rate was really, really low, and he may need a pacemaker. They're waiting to find out. We love Daryl. Get better soon. Yes. My favorite woodworker <laughs> who made the most beautiful soap mold in the world. Mother Many Horses said, my dad's having cataract surgery on Wednesday, and then next week we're going to Kentucky to look for property. Oh, wow. So school ends next week? Yes! School ends next week, and then we're going out to Kansas. And Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. <laughs> it's funny, because I was going to tell, I was talking to Jack's teacher, and I was like, yeah, yeah, summer's coming in. That should be kind of good, right? She's like, yeah, I see Jack's looking forward to it. I said, I can't say that Tara's looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, they are good kids, but it's just they, more difficult. I get to tired of the oh. I'm bored and I'm in the fighting and okay, so ooh, they're Mother hot. Many Horses wants to know where you're finding all the gnomes. Okay. Big I, Lots has a ton of them. Oh, what is that green stuff in it? <laughs> I love my children I'm in not spite eating of themselves. That. No, I'm not eating no. Okay. So let me get all these out here. <laughs> Debbie wants to know what did Jack have in his room? <laughs> <laughs> he just, it's like he took every single toy out of its container and it was just all over the place. Stumped and the he likes to build things and have inventions and all this stuff. And he had pieces of inventions here and pieces of inventions there. And <sighs> he's going to be the innovative one. It was just a mess. So, also the window's me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why the window's fogging so bad today. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to put my last little batch here. I won't be able to bake pretty soon because it's going to be summer. And I don't know, that's when I'm going to need to get my Instant Pot. That, that Patty at Alderman Farms convinced me I should get. Okay, I've been told that that green thing is an onion. Yes. Oh, wow. That is hot. So I will attempt to eat. Ah, that is really hot. Ah. Well, you could wait for it to cool. What? Ow. Come on. I keep on burning myself. What am I doing? You know what? I quit. April, I'm going to paste that in here for you. April is asking, what did I say I take for anxiety? Yeah, I take, um, oops, sorry. I take L-lysine and L-arginine, or they're two amino acids. Um, I think, you, I, I just pasted in what it's called, and it's also in the show notes. I had taken off the show notes, so I don't have links to it at the moment, but um, I found a study online. If you just type in lysine, lysine and anxiety, that study will pop right up, and it tells you all the stuff they figured out about it. I think they recommend, I think they give, it's like a 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams of each in the morning and the night. 
is what they did for the study. I actually do uh, 2,000 of Elysian in the morning and night and 1,000 of uh, Arginine. But I just shared that for you. So, best wishes for Daryl. Okay, so I got my soup back here and I'm gonna add some of my seasoned salt here. Yum. <laughs> Adagoshin says, schmuck, our Jewishness is rubbing off on Tara. I didn't know you were Jewish, dear. You've been saying that for a long time. Yeah, She's also know. said good grief ever since I've known her. And until I met her, the only person I ever heard say that was Lucy on Charlie Brown. And my um, lemon. Oh, these are Elmo <laughs> cups. And I didn't even know it. How cute. Okay. <laughs> Then, let's see, what else do we have that we need? Allspice. Well, for all you moms out there, all the other moms out there are saying Happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> and I'm saying Happy Mother's Day. And Happy Mother's Day late, Mom. <laughs> there, does that help? Okay, now I'm putting in my sugar and my allspice. Dave, can you get me the Worcestershire sauce out of the fridge? Oh, for, oh I need to paint that, right? That's the recipe here? Yes. I'm going to paste that recipe in and again. And stirring it all in. Where is it? So the bottom, very, very bottom. And again, if you, um, if you can't find, I just show pasted notes. the recipe in the comments. If you can't find it, go to show notes, livingonadime.com and click show notes in the menu. Nope. Jackie That's wants to know, all. did you set the timer for the month? No. Right. Are they out already? This, the second to bottom drawer, not bottom Oh, drawer. sorry. Okay, and then I'm putting in my Worcestershire sauce. And then, let's see. Okay, then I'll thicken it in just a minute with some cornstarch. Oh, wait, I forgot my... Okay, mustard. I forgot my beef bouillon. She's got dogs. I don't know if Jill responded to you, but yes, she has another child. It's Tara's brother, David. We're going to go out and help him move next week. <laughs> so two families asking if that's made out of uh, towel fabric. Yes, it is. So, oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. So this is a towel right here. And then this is just the little pretty part. Isn't that cool? So, I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Hmm. So, anyway. Lady Grace is asking, what about shipping costs to Canada? The only thing that would have shipping costs is the book, right? Well, and the, and the... Oh, shoot, so. how are we going to do that? From the... For what? I didn't hear what you said. Um, so, shipping to Canada will stay the same. Because we're shipping it the same way we always have, right? Yeah. Can Canadian shipping is not going to change. So, okay, there you go. Take a test. It smells delicious. Yum. Did I do good? <laughs> Man, this is good. You okay, show's over. Good? I gotta go eat. <laughs> Actually, it's really it's good. It's good. It's a bit squishy for my taste, but mm. it's good. It's good other than that. <laughs> Cause it's like a muffin with like filling in it. <laughs> Rhonda says May 15th is National Chocolate Chip Day and 17th is National Cherry Cobbler Day. <laughs> so, so go back up just a minute again. You missed one. So J Janice says all the videos you've done on getting organized and you have absolutely no way to get organized. You slay me. So here's the thing. I am good at organizing like a house. I'm not good at organizing my life. Oh, ah. Wow. That's deep, dear. <clears throat> I think you should cross your legs before you say things like that, you know, in that, no, 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 cross your legs in that wise person on the mountain kind of way. Well, that's kind of hard to, okay, so, I'm very good at organizing my house. I'm not very good at organizing my life. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> uh, Amy says, you need one of those pie face toys attached to the calendar if you get a smack in the face in the morning. You might know there's something important well, he, that day. Well, here's the problem. She says, Tara, you know I love you. <laughs> here's my problem. I wake up in the morning, and I literally have no idea what day it is. I really don't. 
and then I'll go look on the calendar and I'll have forgot to mark off the calendar for like a week. Well, it doesn't do me any good if I don't mark off the calendar because I forgot. So that's where I'm having, I don't know what to do with myself. Do you need butter? Hmm? I'm hopeless. <laughs> so anyway, licorice scented soap. I don't think I would sell, I love licorice, but I don't think I would sell licorice scented soap. <gasps> Shannon's so, here. Hi, yes. Shannon. Mom has a daughter who's her favorite and a son who's not <laughs> and six grandkids who are the top favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicole wants to know what was our favorite state to see or possibly move to? We have no idea for moving. We had, we had nothing jumped know. out of us. There was nothing that said move here to us when we went there, but, <clears throat> so, but you don't have a preference on states. I mean, one that you like. Well, you the cool. thing is, we would like to find something with trees. But the problem is, if you want a muffin, Ellie, I have some. But if we get a state with trees, hmm. all the states with trees have heat and humidity. So, I don't know. Tat Lover says that Jonathan has good videos on his channel of yeah. our cookbook. Did you send them to Tar to put in that playlist? I sent him a Do thing it. telling me to send them to him. I don't know if he sent them or not. <laughs> Hmm. Coffee time says my son forgot Mother's Day, so I told him he needs to get me two gifts. Oh, you should tell yeah. everybody what BJ's first offer was. For oh, yeah. So yesterday he told me, he said, Mom, he's like... Right and early Sunday, Mother's Day He morning. was like, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> I said, well, thanks, BJ. So for your gift, I'll take you to Chick-fil-A today only, and only today. It's only valid for today, and get you whatever you want at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you get it? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. Yes, Amy's right. Creative brains aren't good at keeping tidy. <laughs> that must be what it is, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, Nancy says the extravaganza of ebooks is a great deal. I have them and I love them. Why, Yay! Thank you. thank you for buying them. Sometimes I forget that we have that one. In fact, we haven't we haven't put a sale on that one in a long time. Yeah. It's today. Because Tara asked me to put a sale and I was David, like, where is it? Um, okay. Wait a minute, what's that about? Mixing bowl? About what? Mixing bowl? Scroll up. Tammy, yes, you did miss the muffins. Although, here they are. Uh, you want to scroll up? I look. They're super delicious. Tara made them at... How long did it take at the beginning? It, like five minutes or something. She didn't start till a little bit later into the show because a lot of people miss them. But um, um, it was about five minutes to make them and then she baked them. And they are super yummy. So after the show, you should go watch the replay. Or at least the beginning part where we made them. Is, they're really good. Oh, never mind. Oh, I thought you saw something that you... Okay, I totally missed. What's the matter? Love your scarf. Oh, where did you get your spice rack, Lynn wants to know. It is on Amazon. And Mike will put a link to our Amazon store. It's on there for you to find. Cool, let me grab that. Um, sorry, Mike is... <laughs> it's suddenly Mike time. Uh, I'm sharing that. So I'm sharing the link to our recommended items at Amazon and that spice rack is on there. And actually, uh, I think that the lysine and arginine links are on there too. So, well, there are a number of people asking about that. So they're there. Yeah, you can put any cheese you want in there in the muffins. Whoever it was that asked that one. Pamela wants to know, do we do much bartering? Yeah, I do a lot of bartering. Just with neighbors and stuff like that and that kind of thing. So. See, your mom and I had the same idea. She says, don't fall off the stool, please. <laughs> uh, See, my, says, my mother and husband know me well. <laughs> Aroha says, yes, I'm terribly organizing my life, but my house is awesome. <laughs> Brenda, you sell yourself short. You must have life organized at least some to get all you do done. No, really, I don't. I just am like, okay, what needs to be done next? And I do it. Seriously. In my head, I always have a running list, which drives me crazy, but I always have a running list of the next thing that needs to be done, and most of the time I forget it. Hmm. 
But yeah. So Kirsten says you probably have severe adrenal fatigue. Oh, I think it's beyond fatigue, adrenal fatigue at this point. I think it's adrenal checkout. <laughs> I think I need an adrenal transplant. <laughs> uh, oh, Helen's asking what kind of muffins. If you show them, I will paste the link in again. Cheddar muffins, page 93. Dining on a dime cookbook right there. And if your dining on a dime hasn't arrived yet, I'm pasting it in the comments. Yep. The recipe. And again, you can find all the links that we're doing mm. at the show notes at livingonadime.com. Uh, yeah. Um, what happened to our move to Ireland? So we found out Irish immigration will not let us go for a year. We were planning on going for a year. Irish immigration will not let you go for more than 90 days unless you have like $50,000 per person in the bank. And you like own property in the United States or wherever you're coming from. And you jump through crazy hoops to try and get um, to stay. So we're going to go next summer for three, for three months. We're going to take Jack out of school early. We're going to take Jack out of school early and um, go between May and August. Helen, I would write a list, but what do you do when you lose your list? So here's the thing. Tara is brilliant at a lot of things, but <laughs> lists and stuff like that are not among the things that she's brilliant at. That's why she delegates. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, it doesn't do me any good to write lists because I just lose my lists. So Cat Lover um, said, LOL, Mike, my dad raised us. He kept, he let us keep our rooms the way we wanted, but the rest of the house was spotless. Mostly... I don't... Tar when it becomes a fire hazard, then I have a problem. Tar well, yeah. If it was feet deep, I wouldn't. But in Jack's room, it's mostly... There's a bunch of Legos in this one area. And so I'll scoot them all over because Legos are Dad's nemesis. <laughs> Not much can take Dad down but Legos. That's wow. a minefield One Lego, for Dad. And that's all it takes. Even with a little one-peg Lego. That's a minefield for Dad. Now, oh, I didn't get over this. What I was going to say was... We do try to keep on the kids to keep their rooms clean. <clears throat> I always keep it clean. Yeah, I should have taken some pictures. Um, <laughs> Was that clean? <laughs> no. See? So the priority shipping is going to be the same price that priority currently is. Yeah. Our yeah. Our so the priority shipping is six fifty. Yeah. Um, and. Jill, I don't know who was asking, but it's six fifty, and the priority will say the same price as it is now. It's just that we're not going to be doing the media mail anymore. Yeah, we're not going to give the option of the cheaper media mail shipping anymore. So Becky wants to know if your mom ever found her earring. No, mom did not ever find her earring. And by the way, oh Brenda, thank you very much. Mom loved her package, and we got a couple of packages today. Why don't you get your letter and show read your joke? Nancy says, I made a list of 15-minute jobs and checked them off when they get to it. The exhaustion is real. Oh, I didn't Actually, see it's this. funny because Jill was talking about, in one of her articles, about uh, doing a little bit, like, on one commercial between shows or something. And then, of course, Tara yeah. does that, too. So. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, Jack got a letter from B in Pennsylvania. Probably. And show, read the joke on the back real quick. Or and then I got a letter from, who was this from? <gasps> oh, okay, so Leanne has been reading our minds. Okay, not really. I mean, it's, we, we at the moment don't have any particular plan to move anywhere, but she says, move to eastern Washington near the Canadian border, trees, cooler climate, everything you've been asking for. And actually, we did look at Spokane uh, yeah. and Coeur d'Alene and some Thought about Spokane, but the, tax, there. the taxes are so ridiculous in Washington. That's like the more. only reason. And we looked on the Idaho side, but then Mike was like, well, I don't know if I want to be dealing with snow that much. So. Uh, well, no, I didn't say that about Idaho. I said that about Wisconsin. You said that about I was, about Coeur d'Alene. No, okay, Coeur d'Alene, so, I said um, that everyone Christmas. told us that it's blown up in population since we lived there, so we might not want to go. I'd, if we drove by there, maybe we could see. We should go up like, by Spirit Lake or somewhere. Well, maybe that's where we should go for our vacation. Uh, I would love to do that. Then we could take the older kids and show them where we lived when they were born. We could take them to the monastery. Um, <laughs> so, monastery? why did the whale buy a violin? 
Why? So it could join the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. So B, show him what else B sent you. She sent him some coloring pages, which was so nice. He loves dot these. to dots. He loves dot to dots. Those oh, are his favorites. So sad. He loves dot to dots, don't you? Yep. And then I got a very nice thank you, Brenda. Happy Mother's Day to a mom I've never met, but see the love for your children. Oh, and when I watch on Facebook, may you have an awesome Mother's Day filled with love, your friend Brenda. Brenda has some Thank of the best you. writing I've ever seen. It's a wow. computer, I think. Is it? Yes. Oh. Can you show me? And then she sent me this It cute looks like handwriting, but it says Brenda, oh, so yeah. I thought that <laughs> she wrote that by hand. She sent me this cute Sorry. little journal thing. Yay! Oops. Oh. Now, see, I could handle something this size. This I could keep on the counter. Okay, this thing's kind of annoying me. All right. Yes. Ooh, yes. That's <laughs> cool. Okay, and then we got a package. Should we open our package and see? So Linda says her iPad or computer tells her the day and time. Maybe that might help. I can't find the time. On, I can't find the date. Where does it say? Oh, well, there it says Monday, but it doesn't say the date. Monday, May 14th, 2018. I can change yeah, the way it displays. How do you get there? You just click it, but I can open it and oh. tell it, and it'll it'll just display the whole thing for you if you want. You I just see. never told me you needed that. Well, because I have 20 other things that I need. So I figured figuring out what day it was was short on the list. What page were these muffins in again? Page 93, Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Yes, Heather, they are the ones in the Dining on a Dime Cookbook. And I will share that link to oh. the muffin recipe again for anyone who didn't get a chance to see it. Mom! Ooh, man, she really take this. Uh, where is it? Uh, Here it is. We made a bunch of stuff this show because Tara also made the stew and people asked about roast and chocolate cake. And if you missed any of those links, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes. Well, this is the cutest keep... duct tape I've ever seen. That is really Watch cute. Watch me stab myself live Why on TV. Do Why don't you uh. let me do that, woman? You know you're not supposed to have... Tara with a knife is like an epileptic person watching a strobe light. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to be disrespectful if you have epilepsy, but yes, but he's that's just the saying truth. that but I have a, issues. It is a parallel, though. Who is this from? Oh, is this from? Oh, I think I know what this is. Dorothy, yes. If you send an email, I would definitely share with you about our Ireland itinerary and travel and travel tips in Ireland, Scotland. It, we loved it. It was amazing. I would. I love to talk about it. So, I know what this yes. is. I can smell it already. Don't use So if you go to livingonadime.com, click on contact and send a message through there. Or if you already know Tara's email address, it's editor at livingonadime.com. I know what and this is. I will get it. Is. Thank you. Looks mm -hmm. like a mini pie. <laughs> Amanda said my husband heard her coffee video when she was yelling and he said, uh-oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> Look at, see what it is? Smell it. <gasps> It's a pie candle! Oh, I oh. Thought, I knew it was pie! Man, it was actually, girl. I was just thinking it looks like it's edible. It was the girl, oh, what was her name? It starts with a K. I can't remember, I'm so sorry. I sent Carolyn. her a book. She's on Carolyn. our Save on Groceries. Let's see who it was. Thank you so much for sending a copy to Carol. Is it Carol? Is that how you say it? I've never been Carol, yeah. Carol? A copy of your cookbook. She loves it. She even has a special drawer in the kitchen. She keeps it in so she does not lose it as well as she does not want her siblings to put fingerprints on it. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This was from Cheryl. Her, I think it was Cheryl, her mom. Is that? Yeah, from Cheryl, her mom. And then look, it's a little cup cozy. Isn't that cute? You put oh, it around your cup that so cute. that it doesn't burn yourself. Oh, that's very cool. Isn't that cute? Yeah, homemade Thank just for you. Thank you, guys. Aww. Oh, man, smell that one. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, it smells edible. It actually smells just mm. like an apple pie. It does. It smells really good. Pepsi Mom G, I'm posting a link mm. for the soap making ebook for you now. And if you don't find man. it, you can go to the show notes at livingonadime.com. Oh, I that did is so it. cute. Man, I want to burn it because it smells so good, but I don't want to burn it because it's it so cute. It smells so good. <laughs> Oh. oh man! Everyone Thank says so you. cute, so cute. Oh, and Cheryl makes these. Oh, how cool! I didn't know you made them, Cheryl. How nice! Thank you. 
All right, any last questions? Jenny says, I lose lists also, but I put my grocery list in my cell phone. I have Tara send me an email that says list, and then she puts what she wants on it, and then I walk into the store and get it. Uh, La Diana says, if I tape a list to the fridge, I forget to look. Actually, you do remember the list of groceries on there, right? Well, I write it down, but when I get to the grocery store, it doesn't usually help me because I don't... Because you didn't bring it with you? <laughs> well, because I either leave it in the car or I... Um forget to just look at the list and finish getting what I need because I'm so tired. Leanne says, yes, Spokane or Coeur d'Alene, I'd come see you for sure. Well, maybe we should go up to Coeur d'Alene or Spirit I, Lake. We really, we really liked living out there, didn't we? Well, I did, but you said you didn't want to deal with the snow and Coeur d'Alene is higher than, Minas than yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, but Coeur d'Alene doesn't have the Great Lakes next to it dumping tons of snow. They had snow, but it wasn't as much snow as the Great Lakes area. I, I did... I was thinking you that. You could see Mom's nose from far, while I was firing. You told me but... he didn't want to deal with the snow when I was looking oh, at well, pictures now maybe what... in the snow for mm, houses. Maybe maybe we had a slight failure to communicate. Because it's true, I did say now that you think about it, when I'm old, what even when or I'm even old? a little older, or even now, I don't want to shovel. When we were in Idaho, I had to shovel, what, 100 linear feet of snow, Probably. like five feet wide? <laughs> and that's just too much anymore. So, oh, she's an old-fashioned girl wants to know, do you still do gardening like in your old videos? Um, I still have my garden, but I'll be honest, I put Roundup on everything except my perennials this year because <gasps> I just don't have the time to do it, so. Mary wants to know, why is your cookbook that is used going for $7,072.54? Because it's that good. It'll save you that amount of money. <laughs> so you go to livingonadime.com and get you a copy instead for $21.95. <laughs> Actually, if you're talking about an Amazon, they're, so it's funny because on Amazon they have individual people that are sellers and they, uh, one person one time marked one really high and a lot of the sellers have this software that bids, they kind of, if somebody else lowers or raises the price, they match it so that they don't have to figure out what the price is. And so one person made their price really high and pretty soon all the prices were really high. So we think that's what happened, but it's pretty hilarious. Because we do think it's worth it. <laughs> uh, but you can get one a lot less if you just buy it directly from us. And it'll be brand new. So you can love it to death like we did yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I'm putting in cornstarch so, in water. And then I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to be done. So Tammy's asking... She says, Amanda and I want to know if your biscuits are like red lobster cheddar biscuits. Yes. These kind of are. Mm -hmm. But these aren't... Are the muffins and the biscuits basically the same? Basically. I also have the cheddar biscuits that are just like red lobsters in the book, too. Bye, so she's an old-fashioned girl. Okay, here we go. Got it all in there. Finish my boil in here. Eleanor said, thank you for mailing the soap to my daughter-in-law and the one to me. We both got them and we'll be trying them out. Yay! And Sharon says, Mike, snowblowers are wonderful. Two-stage ones are great. I think this should be like when we moved to Kansas and we said, because you're chronically ill, we have to have air conditioning. We can say... You're chronically old, so you need a snowblower? I'm, I'm going to be old, and you're going to... I'm going to have to do the honeydew list, and if I throw my back out shoveling snow, you're going to regret it, so we'll just buy a snowblower. Yeah, but Grandpa lopped his fingers off with a snowblower. Yeah, that's because he stuck his hand into where the blade is. Although, to his defense, it was jammed, and he... he it wasn't actually turned on, but... The reason why he cut his finger off is he he reached in there and popped the rock out and the rock was always holding the spring tight. So mm -hmm. it just sprung. So never do that. <laughs> but knowing about that, I would if I got a stick stuck in there, I would use a stick to pull to try to pull it out. <gasps> BB says, I collect cookbooks and have never found a used copy of your book, which means people keep them. Yes. Funny thing is I'm waiting for the day I find one at the thrift store. I thought it was pretty cool. For a long time, we didn't ship out of the U.S. because we were just having books just disappear. And we finally figured out how to overcome our problems with shipping internationally. But during the time when we didn't, uh, there were a lot of people that we later found out had found them at thrift stores or at Amazon or something. <laughs> and one person told me he was really, or Darren, I haven't seen him lately, but he told me that he was really sorry for buying it used at Amazon. And I was thinking, we don't mind. <laughs> That's fine. We buy everything. But it's hard to find them unless you want to pay $7,000. Hey, I say if you can find one used, go for it. I have no problem with that. But 
You know yeah. what this reminds me of? The Christmas shop in Estes. Oh, wait, the one that's back uh, there anymore? Or is it back, yeah. it's back there in a different place? It smells so good. Um, uh, but Deanna says Wisconsin doesn't usually get lake effect. Michigan does. It's on the east side. Oh. Rosemary, do you shovel a lot in Colorado? No. We it, don't even hardly have that much snow. It Maybe five or six times mm -hmm. a year we'll get a little bit of snow. Not a whole lot. The most we ever get in a single snowfall might be five or six inches, right? Yeah. But that's maybe a once a year thing. Oh, Lynn says, I'm glad y'all like the candle and cup cozies. Carol is so happy she's just smiling. Oh, Carol. Thank, thank you, Carol. You. I'm so glad you like your cookbook. This was so thoughtful of you guys. <laughs> BJ says, mm. you bring your phone shopping, take a picture of your list on your phone. I don't remember to take my phone. Seriously, guys, I this is not a is joke. This, I'm is serious. That, is that a CFS thing that you yeah. don't remember it? Okay, because she has chronic fatigue syndrome, and that's probably why. It causes Even a lot in your of... back pocket. It causes Even, a lot of memory issues and such. Here's here's my... Tell him my message on my phone that Mike put on my phone. <laughs> we should get it and play it back. I can't find it. <laughs> She had me record a message for her because uh, she couldn't figure out and she knew I had done it and, and I said, Hi, you've reached Tara's phone. Uh, please leave a message and Tara will call you back as soon as she finds her phone and recharges the battery. <laughs> and that's pretty much the case. It's true. Like, it'll be somewhere in the house and we'll try to call it, but it won't ring because the battery's dead. <laughs> so. But that's just because of the chronic fatigue syndrome, so... It's true. I still love you, dear. <laughs> this is really good, by the way. See, the problem with Colorado is Colorado really has perfect weather. It has four seasons, but in the winter, it doesn't snow a lot. Really, we don't get a lot of moisture here. We really don't. And Except so it's been raining the last two weeks, but usually it'll rain in May and August and snow in May and August. And then that's all we have for months and months and months. And then we only get a snowstorm maybe once a month. Maybe a snowstorm once a month. So Usually, last two years, we've gotten one on May 27th. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, I hate we won't be here if it happens then. No. Sorry, so be able to show <laughs> Yeah, but what about my plants? Oh, sorry. Sorry I've eaten a few of these. Um, Brenda says fibro fog is about. real. Yeah. And Kimberly says, we still love you, Tara. Yes, we all do. Thanks. Um, Mike's um, being tested. Jack Louise is asking, is it yummy? It's very delicious. Turn around, they can't hear you. It is very, oh. very delicious. <laughs> oh, Melody says, here it's 92 today. I don't know where that is, but whoa. Uh, anyway. I don't know, but wherever you are, I'm not glad I'm not there. <laughs> We dislike that. Oh, Rhonda says... I like it cool. Amazon, Rhonda says Amazon, dining on a dime, eight ninety nine ninety nine plus five twenty two shipping. Three thousand... Three thousand two hundred and fourteen oh seven nine. Even seven... We should get a screenshot of that and put it on That's our hilarious. testimonials page. <laughs> Look, they think it's worth this and you can get it on our site. We're just twenty one ninety five. Uh, North Carolina. We love the coffee you made, only there's a lot of stuff at the bottom. Am I doing something wrong? You just need to stir it a little bit more. Tegan wants to know, do we ship to Australia? Yes, yes we do. That's $21. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, um, Laurel, we're planning to go in nine days to Wichita to help my brother move. And we're trying to plan some sort of a summer trip. I really need a break. And we'd like to go find some place where we could just sit and relax by a lake or something so that the boys have something they can play with, but I can just sit back and rest and not do anything but quite frankly i'm too tired to figure it out so that probably ain't gonna happen at the moment so i don't know what we're gonna do but well you just said we should go to northern uh, idaho washington area i know to... but who's gonna be looking for a place to stay well i can i just shouldn't do it during working hours <laughs> mm. um i know only nine days until Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. <laughs> Donna says, I no, loved Colorado when I lived there. Nice. You know, we love the climate, and we really loved it before, but we love it less now because so many people have come that it's just... The traffic is just ridiculous. The traffic is ridiculous. And you literally almost get killed every time you go out <clears throat> on the road. I mean, seriously. It's just hard because it's not... Uh... Oh, hey, Tegan, I'll share that link again. Um, it's just hard because it's really crazy and kind of tense. Yeah. 
Uh, Tegan, I'm sharing the link to where you can buy the book on our website. If you don't see the link, it's livingonadime.com. You can click on store. Uh, and, oh, you, you want to announce the extravaganza again, right? Yeah, so our extravaganza is half price right now. $10 for 12 ebooks. Woohoo. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Our Dining on a Dime cookbook, the price is going up $1.50 on June 1st or when we run out of envelopes, whichever comes first. This is $1.50 only for the U.S. people. Right? Uh -huh. Only for the U.S. And, um... It won't be increasing if you're out of the U.S. Mm-mm. Because for the U.S. people, it's because the people out of the country already have to Yeah, Mom's more. right. She said usually she sees us two times a year, but this time by the end of June, she'll have seen us four times. But then she says <laughs> I talk to her in Skype several times a day, though. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yes, my her. mother knows. Do you know I love you, Mother? I love you, Mother. I'm sorry. I feel like such a schmuck. What? An old-fashioned country life. Go Ireland, we're O'Grady's. Woohoo! Murphy and Dempsey. <laughs> what? All right. Well, it looks like we're getting close to the end, so we'll see. Uh, okay. Oh, there's secrets happening here. He's computer Oh, your mom timeless. says, I know you love me. Oh, good. <laughs> I do love my mother. I just am scatterbrained. All right, so guys, any last questions? Lisa so said it's go? beautiful here. I think she's in Sheridan. Um, Sheridan, Wyoming. I, I go to Sheridan, but everybody from Colorado is moving to Sheridan, and the prices are just as bad as Colorado. Oh, no, so. she says lives in Greenville, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. No, sorry. I was in Tennessee 15 minutes, and it was too much for me. <laughs> she can't sorry. do heat and humidity. It so was way too hot and humid. Pretty much makes most of the southeast really difficult, or yeah. anywhere in the south, really. Okay, so while Mike's looking for the last comments, don't forget <clears throat> to check tomorrow. We are doing a video on um, some changes that we are making to our shows. Joanne wants to know if we will be <clears throat> planning to do show while we're in Kansas. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We're going to do a show when we're in Kansas. We're not going to do a meetup. We are having a meetup still July 1st. Mead, Colorado, and Michael put the link in there. It's in the show notes. If you want to come, please come. Yeah. Uh, let me share that link here. Sorry. And again, like Tara mentioned, the show notes. If you're not familiar with the show notes, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes in the menu, and all these links are there. So if you if you missed any of them. So do you think Jack? Do you think I had a good give mom all the kisses she wants day? Yeah. You think I did? Yeah. Do you think I got all the kisses I wanted? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> I did. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should have another one just in case. I, I didn't re relay this to you earlier, but uh, Anita mm -hmm. and maybe some other, I think it was Anita that asked earlier, how do you prevent food poisoning with eggs, lettuce, etc.? Recall here on eggs. Eggs, you cook them. Yeah, you just cook them. Um, lettuce, I don't know. Lettuce, there's nothing you can do. You just have to... I would not eat lettuce that made people sick, I guess. But if, if you had some, there was a recall on the kind that you bought. I'd be safe and toss it, even though probably the majority of it isn't infected, but you never know which is, so. Yeah. Make Mike and Ellie find an Airbnb for you. <laughs> Actually, I think that means for you to get away. Or maybe it's for Jill. I think yeah. it's for you to get Oh, no, it's for us to go to... Pacific Northwest. For some sort of vacation. I'd be happy to do that. I'm sorry I didn't, dear. It was just... I told Tara that I would do it, and then a bunch of stuff came up, and then out of Goshen came, we were hanging out with them, and then we went to Atlanta, and I just totally That's what I'm just saying. It. It's just been, we've just been totally crazy, and so I just don't even know if we'll have time to, I just don't even know if we'll have time to do that, but. DJ wants to know if we would vacation on Cape Cod. I don't even know where Cape Cod Massachusetts. is. Massachusetts. It's supposed oh, to be gorgeous. I would love to do that, but I hear it's ridiculously expensive. I think it'd be cool. I read in my old fashioned books from like Grace Livingston Hill and all that and how they go spend the summer on the beach. And then dad drives in from the city on the weekends. And I always thought that would be so cool to do, but. That would be cool. Yes, we do have an affiliate program, Janice. If you want to sign up, we get 50% on our books on any book that you sell. Uh, okay, so let's see. Jonathan, I don't like change. Thank you. Neither does Mike. But Jonathan, I'm sorry. There's going to be a change coming. 
Uh, hate to tell you. Let's see. Come to Utah. We have Mirror Lake and lots of other beautiful re relaxation spots. All right. I think that's pretty much it for the comments. Drink a good cup of herbal tea before you watch our video tomorrow. Uh, or I... Oh, no. The meetup is in Mead, Colorado. Sorry, Kimberly. Did I say Kansas? I don't think you said oh, Kansas, but Mead, I don't know for Colorado sure. Mead, Colorado is where the meetup's going to be. I'm sharing the link for it now. And the... Um, Sorry, I'm sharing the link for it now, and if you forget it, it's in the show notes at Living on a Dime. All right, guys, com. thank you very much. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. This is my wonderful apple pie candle. So awesome. That um, Carol. Sh Cheryl and Carol, I thought, oh, they rhyme. Excuse me, sent me, I sent Carol a cookbook. She's a little girl who was enjoying my videos, so I sent her one. And um, She sent you this? That's awesome. They made this for me and the little cup warmers, which I love. Or the, not warmer, but I mean cozy, cup co cozy. So thank you guys. And these cheddar muffins are what we made on the show today. They're super delicious. If you missed that, you can watch the beginning of the show after it's over. And what is on set island? Never heard of that one. I think it's it's. I think she, well, she was talking about Cape Cod, so I assume it means it's there, somewhere. Well, type it in and see. Open a new tab and I'll look it up. All right, guys, please visit us at livingonadime.com. Like, Bye. share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check our YouTube channel tomorrow for our big announcement. Dun, dun, dun. Um, drink a good cup of herbal tea before you watch it, but yeah, the winds of change are coming. <sighs> oh, it's always terrifying to me when Tara says that, <laughs> but not he really just that loves bad. It. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a great night. Visit us at Lydia today. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Good morning in Singapore and Australia Bye. and New Zealand. Bye. Bye. We need to finish giving kisses for giving.